Welcome back to the third video in this series, where we will explore the G-Arm Scanning Unit. You may recall our first two videos showed setup and operation of the console. Now we'll be looking at the remote control and movement capabilities of the G-Arm B6 Duo. The remote control can be attached to either side of the G-Arm. For safety, the remote will auto-lock after a few minutes of idle time. Press the unlock button at the top left of the remote. Next, you'll see arrow buttons to move the image intensifiers, both AP and lateral, closer or farther away from the patient. There are two more arrow buttons to adjust the orbital rotation of the unit, and another set for the radial rotation. You can adjust the height of the system and there is a scale on the machine to see the exact height. Finally, there are two buttons for resetting the position of the machine to either a neutral or compact position for storing and traveling. Similar to the console, the scanning unit also has a red emergency off button. The G-Arm has two rear tracking wheels that can be rotated via handles at the back of the scanning unit. This makes it easy to move the system between uses during surgery. There is a foot switch to lock the wheels in place. Hand grips are positioned around the system, making it easy to maneuver the machine. Each of the image intensifiers have a button to turn on laser guides. These help get the machine in the right position quickly. The G-Arm is operated by controls on the console as well as the scanning unit. Features such as tracking wheels, remote control, and laser guides ensure the system moves easily and can be positioned accurately. This concludes our introductory series on the G-Arm B6 Duo. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit us at whaleimaging.com.